Yes, jerking off is bad for you. Yes, masturbation is bad for you. Yes, porn is detrimental for you. And yes, you need to wake up. In today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly why these things are bad for you and just some of the negative effects that are happening onto your brain that you're doing every single day. Now, I know I'm coming off as a little bit more aggressive than usual, a little more energy than usual, a little bit angrier than usual, but they don't tell you this stuff in school. And it's really, it's really making me angry that, they, that no one tells you the negative side of jerking off. They say, oh, it's natural. It's part of growing up. Listen, Listen. cut that noise out and realize that it's just background noise, my friend. You're better than it. You're better than jerking off. There's a reason why we get post no clarity, right? I call this the dopamine trap. Now this applies to video games, junk food, anything really bad that you can think about. It's most prevalent in porn. Now when we watch porn and we jerk off more specifically, we get a hit of dopamine because our brain thinks that we just had sex instead of sitting alone in our bathroom jerking off. And so what ends up happening is we get this large release of dopamine as I just stated. And what that does is it tells your mind to keep doing it, right? So that's why it becomes a habit and eventually an addiction for most of us is because we get a large reward for it. And the problem with that is, is it takes away from other things. You see, when I go to the gym and I hit a heavy workout, and afterwards my brain hits me with that big dopamine release because it knows that I just achieved something very difficult. I just put myself through the flame and came out the other side. And it's something that's very desirable. So boom, dopamine release, big one. What happens when you jerk off is you spend 20 minutes finding a video, 20 minutes jerking off maybe, those people really last like 30 seconds. So like 30 seconds jerking off, boom. You just got three times what I just got at the gym in a reward. And so what that does, it pulls you away from the gym because your brain deep down is gonna think, wait a minute, why am I working out at the gym when I could be at home jerking off and get way more of the reward for jerking off than doing the hard workout? That's why if you've ever jerked off right before the gym or if you've ever had sex before the gym, this applies too you'll realize that your workouts are a lot worse. There's a lot less motivation. There's a lot less, you know what I'm saying? Because you have fried your dopamine receptors and now you're chasing this instant pleasure instead of the pleasure that matters, instead of doing the hard stuff like working on your businesses, reading those books, hitting the gym, things of that nature. Next thing I wanna talk about is erectile dysfunction. Now this is getting more and more common amongst young men. Why? Porn, that simple. Porn causes erectile dysfunction. Now, most people don't really like to talk about it, don't really feel comfortable talking about it. The reality is it does, especially in young men, it is rising and we shouldn't be having these issues. And honestly, personally, deep down, I've never told anyone with this, but it's affected me. It's crazy that like, we are conditioned to think that masturbation is good. Some, some teacher, you know, sex ed teacher, at least in my life, said that at one point and i'm sure the same is for you and if it's not you've probably justified it and coped it by looking up videos of like why masturbation is good for you and things of that nature but it can cause erectile dysfunction because when we are overstimulated that the overstimulation that we receive from jerking off it makes it harder that when we actually get into the real thing when we're actually about to have sex to reach that level of stimulation that is now required to get our dick up and so that's the reality guys and that's just the second reason why you need to quit. I don't know of any healthy relationships where one of the partners masturbates. I'm sorry. It has a huge negative effect on intimate relationships with partners because you have these higher expectations than what is really going to be possible. And obviously porn is made up. It's fake. It's not even real sex. So when you actually have sex with your intimate partner, it affects your relationship because it's not what you expect it to be. It's worse than what you expect it to be when you're this desensitized. And so it's gonna have a terribly negative effect on your relationship and that is why you need to get away from it. Watching another girl get slammed, as you do in porn videos, is having one of the worst effects on you. It puts you what I like to call in observer mode. Observer mode means, and it happens when we watch sports and things of that nature, means that you're so used to watching other people chase the goal that you are not actually chasing it. So when you're watching porn, you're less likely to chase girls. When you're watching sports, you're less likely to play sports, right? observer mode this is what we need to get out of we need to get into doing the action so instead of watching these porn videos why don't you try getting girls now you're gonna fail over and over again but when you actually get them it's gonna be so much better right it's gonna make it worth it because it's it's putting in the hard work that gets us the reward and if it wasn't hard we wouldn't value it this last effect i hope i've kind of enlightened you a little bit to it i hope 
I fought your cope a little bit for this last effect to really affect you. It's called supporting the industry. So a lot of these girls, and I justified it this way too, you know, I was coping too. All these girls are drugged or they don't want to be there. The big porn stars that are like number one, number two, they are like the celebrities, you know what I mean? They're the, the outliers to this rule. Most, the 90% of girls that are on there are only on there because they need to make 20, like $200 to feed their kids. They're only on there because they need to make some money. They just moved to the United States or they need to make some money. They're in a really rough spot in their life and they need this and they need that and they, they can't even feed themselves. That's why they're really doing those videos. A lot of those girls are doing those videos because that reason. And it becomes their biggest mistake. And so what we're doing is we're watching people make their worst mistakes and getting sexual releases from that. How do you think that she feels knowing that like 200 dudes in one night, 30 dudes in one night, 20 dudes in one night, jerking off to her making the worst mistake in her life? Imagine this, you're making the worst mistake in your life, right? I'm gonna give you a second. Imagine your worst mistake. Just do it with me. Like, trust me, you'll get something like this. Okay, so you've imagined your worst mistake. Now imagine I'm behind you recording the whole thing and every single night, whatever your worst mistake is, I laugh at you. I make fun of you. I get pleasure out of seeing you making that mistake. How would you feel? How do you feel? Honestly, how do you feel imagining me? Imagine me, right? The person I am, this, this, this face doing that to you every single night and you know it. How do you feel? Okay. Well, if you are committed to this no fat journey, if I've piqued your interest into no fat, maybe this is the first time you're hearing of no fat or anything like this, I strongly suggest that you check out this playlist. It has all the answers in it, the benefit timelines, the benefits, things of that nature, why you should, why you shouldn't, and whatnot. Check it out because you do not want to miss the things in there if you're new. Even if you're intermediate, no fat, there's things in there that are going to help you because I've been in the same spot but when I was on my quitting porn journey. Like, I know what you're going through. Never quit.